what's up guys welcome back to another sport universe reacts so this is probably gonna be like the obvious reacts that i've ever done obviously the nationals won the world series yesterday i wanted to be able to do this last night but it ended too late you know i have school and everything so back from school so reacting to it now uh it's actually i guess it adds to it i've had some time to digest the whole situation and you know what i'm like not like that mad about it the nationals winning Obviously, I'll say it again, I'm a Mets fan, so obviously I didn't want the Nationals to win. But, like, I didn't wake up, like, depressed from it, so that's, like, a good thing, right? Um, I mean, I, there's probably a few reasons for it. First off, I just went into the postseason thing and the Yankees were going to win it all and trying to wrap my mind around having to live in New York with Yankees fans celebrating their 28th ring, but that didn't happen, so I guess that's one of the reasons. Second, Bryce Harper must be pissed. Like, he's not going to show it, but he definitely is. It also kind of detracts from his legacy because he wasn't able to win that World Series. Like, the Nationals basically have the same amount of talent besides, like, Patrick Corbin as they did uh, last year. And Bryce Harper wasn't able to get it done, but they were able to do it this year. So there's definitely a point to that argument. Next, I think I don't see the Nationals. Like, if I saw the Nationals as an actual threat next season, I'd probably be a little bit more annoyed considering who's in the division, the Phillies, Braves, Nationals, obviously, and then the Marlins, but they're far away, I think. I mean... I didn't think the Nationals were going to do anything this year, so I could be totally off. And, I mean, Anthony Rendon's got most... Okay, Steven Strasburg and Anthony Rendon are free agents. They're going to have to cough up a lot of money if they want to keep those two players. I mean, probable MVP, to me at least, with Anthony Rendon. And then Steven Strasburg, elite pitching, elite pitcher. They're going to have to cough up a lot of money to get those two players back, and I don't see them doing that. I feel like going into next season, they're going to be pretty depleted offensively without Anthony Rendon and pitching-wise without Steven Strasburg. Now, who knows? Maybe they re-sign them, but they're going to have a lot of offers on the table. So, I mean, the Steven Strasburg and Anthony Rendon are going to have a lot of offers on the table to leave the Nationals and a lot of big offers, so... I'm not worried about them being a big threat next season. And the fourth reason, I saw this on Twitter. I don't know who it was that said it, but it was a good point. Um, the Nationals winning is another reason to see how close the Mets are actually, are actually, how close the Mets actually are to making the playoffs or more making the World Series and possibly winning. I mean, the Nationals are basically the equivalent of the 2019 Mets, plus a little bit better offense and, and like, maybe, like, very slimly better um, bullpen. Obviously, the Nationals had their bullpen struggles, but the Mets did really bad, too, and that's what kept them out of the postseason. So, going into next season, I mean, if everyone can be healthy, like, if the Mets had a healthy everything like they didn't have Jed Lowry for basically the whole season and if they could have everything going into next season which is a very uh if statement but like their offense is pretty stacked um and then they just need to add some bullpen arms and I, I feel like they'd be better they'd be as good or much better than the national than the 2019 nationals who won the world series obviously um so Weirdly, like I said, I'm not totally mad. It's probably because it's not in my face. Like, if I was in Washington, D.C., obviously it'd be in my, defa in my face that the Nationals won. But also, like, I don't hate the Nationals that much. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, next interview should be, I think, up by Saturday. Still have to figure out the timing for everything. But mm, keep your eyes out for that. Besides that, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep following, all that stuff, you know. Uh, that's it. See you next time.
बाय